Card 5. The Hierophant. It is impossible at the present time to explain this card thoroughly, for only the course of events can show how the new current of initiation will work out. This card symbolises the law of the new aeon of the child Horus, which has supplemented that aeon of the dying god, which governed the world for 2,000 years. Crowley was initiating in the new aeon. This card is referred to the letter Va, which means a now. This card also refers to Taurus. Therefore, the throne of the Hierophant is surrounded by elephants, which are the nature of Taurus, as well as bulls. The main magical work of this card is the uniting of the microcosm with the macrocosm. On the card, the symbolism of the snake and the dove refers to this verse of the Book of the Law, chapter 1, verse 57. There are love and love. There is the dove and there is the serpent. The ruler of this sign is Venus. She is represented by the woman standing before the Hierophant. This woman represents Venus as she now is in this new aeon, no longer the mere vehicle of her male counterpart, but armed and militant. In this sign the moon is exalted. Her influence is represented not only by the woman, but by the nine nows, which the letter Va also represents. The Book of Foth was written by Alistair Crowley. The cards for this tarot deck were designed by Lady Frida Harris.